and creator Joey Garrity. I empower women entrepreneurs by sharing influence solutions on my show, SWE Spotlight with Joey. Hi, everyone. Welcome to SWE Spotlight with Joey. You know you're in the right place. If you are here to learn how to navigate success with international recording artist Claudia Santiago, she is fabulous. I have had an opportunity to talk to her before, and I had to have her on the show, and you're going to see why. So just a little bit about me. Um, you can learn more about my products and services at joeyg113, and you can learn about why I named my company joeyg113. It's actually after homage to two of the most legacy driven women entrepreneurs of all time. And one of them is Coco Chanel. So you can learn more about that there. Um, and I'm also, I'm also the founder of FWE Media Network. And you can, you can find us on YouTube and learn all kinds of solutions in every kind of category if you're a woman entrepreneur out there. So let's jump right in. I want to talk to you about this um, recording superstar. Claudia. And she also has a couture line. We're going to be talking about that in just a second, too. So let's bring her up from the green room. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much, Joey, for having me. Oh, my God. I'm so excited to have you here. I want to jump right into your first share because your first share is um, really touched my heart um, that you are a child um, who was part of a civil war. And also you bounce back from a, a, an illness, physical illness as well. So another reason I had to have you on the show, like you're such an inspiration, right? And so I just wanted you to share a little bit more about the audience of what, what is like, how did you get through these, you know, these challenges, sister? Yes, I am a survivor of a civil war and everything that goes with that. Uh, it, uh, it, it leaves a, an imprint in your life, if I can say that. And mm -hmm. what you do with that imprint is the difference to success and to overcoming. Um, one of the things, and I, I kind of owe a bit of that to my dad, when he was, he was tortured in the prison camps mm -hmm. and when we uh, ended up in Canada, he said to us over and over, it's a blessing we're here, we're safe. Yes, all our family is there and they're suffering too, but we have to make family here. We have to do what we've been given in our hands, the blessings we have and do the best with that. So there was this mindset of, we're not gonna stay in a pity party. We're not gonna be going, woe was me, or feel entitled like now we, you know, the world owes us something. No, it was a mindset of do something really good with what you've been given. And the same thing with the overcoming the life-threatening illness. I just love your dad is such an inspiration, right? And I, I do, it's so difficult to let go of our past, but it's so important. It's so important because yes. it is a journey. It's a journey while we're here. Yes, very much. And that's where, when we talk branding, okay? And when we talk women entrepreneurs, I'm just going to zone in on that, okay? This is so huge because all of us have a story all of us have had a past or maybe we're going through it right now. Sure. And this is where it's so important is what is your story? What is the story that's being written in you? And what are you going to do with that? So I always say a brand isn't the colors. It's not the font. It's not the song you sing. It's who you are, the essence of who you are. And so for me, as an overcomer of a life-threatening illness, of a civil war, I could have chosen to yeah. my song be the pity party, but that's not what we do. No, no. We and 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 again, that that's such a like roll out the red carpet moment, right? Is how you're how you're like, we it's really our essence. It has not, we are the brand. Yeah. We are the brand. So whatever signal you got going on out there, that's what people are catching. That's what people are picking up out there. Right, sister? Exactly. So that would be my one key to success. Uh, and the second one would be implement, implement, implement. Be sure you have an answer to people's problems. So 
for me, I, I'm just going to I also give my hat off to J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez, to Gloria Stefan. Yes. To, yes. You know what? These girlfriends, like, hey, Latinas, I'm just going to say that because I'm Latina. Yes. They had an incredible impact on me as a young one. Oh, not so like the music, mm -hmm. but their attitude and their thought process where they said, we are not going to be pigeonholed. We're going to expand our brand into entrepreneurial ventures. I mean, Gloria has a, a restaurant named after her, okay? They, yeah, Jayla Brand. Like, yeah, Jayla <laughs> Brand got into all kinds of stuff. Yeah, no, I love your tip about just be you, develop that, find how you can be the, the answer, implement, implement, implement. Because, sister, you still got, you still got to show up. You know, I mean, I love the book, The Secret, but I think the missing piece of The Secret is that there's actually work on the other side of the intention still, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you got to implement and you got to have fun doing it. I can tell that you're having a lot of fun with your couture line. Yes, I am actually. I mean, I mean, like this, this is cool, sister. Oh, wow. So these earrings you'll find on a Valentine's photo shoot we just did. That's this fabulous. Here is from one of my uh, shows. It's a 20s to 40s vintage jazz show. But since oh. I was a little girl, I was designing, I was making clothes. I was, I love everything to do with couture and design and fashion, beauty. So for me, from a very long time ago, people are saying now, oh my gosh, Claudia, like you're, you're doing all this. And that, and I'm going, no, no, sister, you have no idea. This has been like years and years and years in the works. But it's <laughs> always been, when I was uh, going through artist development in Nashville, it's always been a part of the bigger picture of my brand. Yes, and so what is the essence behind the couture? Because I know you are always drive with essence first, sister. Yeah. So the essence is to give men and women an inspiration to be them be you celebrate the you the the amazingness that you are doesn't matter if you're a rock and roller i have the, that line collection in my couture line doesn't matter if you love chanel i love all things chanel yeah. uh, it doesn't matter if you know you're a cowboy like be what you are and the things that you celebrate and and to uh okay joy I, I don't know if i'm gonna like make a few people upset here but this is my thing is we live in a world that says pigeonhole yourself to one thing yeah. Pigeon, you know and i've just never been that so part of me is okay you know what let me hit a target market I'm going to develop a show that has that target market. Guess what? My couture line, there's a collection just for that target market. There is recordings for that target market. Do you see what I'm saying? So, yes. Yeah, you're uh, layering on top of layering on top yeah, of layering. Yeah, I still niche out. I still hit that market. I'm not going to go touting my Chanel at my rock show. You know, you're right, right, right. You're like, but it's, but your essence is your essence, no matter what room you walk into, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the rock show, right? <laughs> I love that. Okay, that's Just in walk. my shop too. Okay, so yes, so this is where I want to. The essence is to encourage people not to get stuck and not to try and be somebody else. Just be you. Yes, sister. I have a book called "Being Your Own Superstar: Be Yourself." Be who you are, right? And I talk about how to get more of what you want in here. And it's literally, it's it really does come down to you. Um, I want to share this tip. It's about humanize your brand by where by by weaving your personal and your professional stories into your brand, which you do so brilliantly, right? I think it's a great way to emotionally connect with the marketplace out there. Yes. Yes. Most right? definitely. I mean, no one wants perfect. No one no. wants, no one wants unattainable. No one wants unattainable. Like this is not, this is a new era. This is a time where people want yes. to be able to feel like, like they know you, but they're also that you're approachable. Exactly. 
right? Exactly. Um, just let me know. I want to show you something else. Yeah, do it. Okay. I'm excited. So speaking of times and seasons, this is the other thing. Another fallacy out there is we got to burn ourselves out. Go, 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 go. Okay. Yeah. There's an amazing coach actually in California, uh, Cynthia Bazin, who's, who's wonderful. And she, I'll never forget this. One day she said, you know, you have, just have to be consistent and whatever that looks for you. Now, sure. uh, a few years ago, I had a routine surgery and it went totally sideways, totally sideways. I was in ICU. I was fighting for my life. Now, this is after even all that life-threatening disease and the chemotherapy of years ago, okay? This was only a few years ago. I had to stop all performances. I mean, we didn't know if I was going to make it. Okay, yeah. I could not. I was I was bedridden, and I was I was I really uh, didn't even know how long it would take for me to get back on stage. So what did I do? I started designing and writing a book in on my laptop in the hospital uh, called "Life Is a Beautiful Thing." Yes. Now this first one is a planner, which was for last year, but oh, you know. Yeah. Through it, I helped uh, my my coaching clients, especially women, really get pen to paper because there's something about writing. Yes, it's not available as an ebook. It's not available as a down here. It's a hardcover, beautiful coffee table book. Okay, it's gorgeous. But the women that I was coaching in that season, especially because I couldn't perform. They loved having their coffee, putting a beautiful pen to paper, journaling in it, planning their day. Okay. So what I'm saying about this is there's always seasons. Some of us are having babies. Some of us are retiring. Uh, there's seasons for everybody. And it doesn't mean you have to stop, but it's an opportunity to create something else. Just like being part of Ross Brand's uh, no. books. Um, I love that. I love that. Same thing. And that's my third point is community. And this is where it's so important for success. It's so true. It's so true. Like you have to have community. It's like, and you know, for a long time, I didn't know that. Like, yeah. you know, cause you're just, you're just working, you're just moving so quick. We only have a couple, um, we have a short period, short time now. Okay. Um, what is one thing that has surprised you on this journey, sister? What's one thing that surprised you? I'm going to say being me. Oh, right. Right. I know we wake up and we're like, wait, we're pretty cool. <laughs> being me and trusting that intuition, that, that instinct of like, no, I feel that I need to implement this into my brand or I need to bring this on stage. Uh, that seeing the audience response Yes. seeing that even though I didn't think it would be an answer to a problem they have, all of a sudden I'm realizing what I just did there, what I just wore there was an answer to somebody and it gave them courage. It gave them uh, an outlet to express themselves differently. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's building that legacy. That legacy is a key thing. And that would be my legacy. And my the thing that surprised me is, and that's why I really push on that, is be you. Create, yes, go create. Color outside of the lines. Go do it. Yes, sister. Yes, sister. I so appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming on the show and being you and being such a shiny, bright, inspirational light out there, sister. I love you so much. Thank you. I love, I love you. you. I love you. And thank you again for having me. Oh my God, I love you. Isn't she great? She is cool. She's doing some cool stuff out there. And I love her wisdom to us is just be you and then implement, implement, implement. And notice how she does layers on top of her branding. And she's sharing her story, which is emotionally connecting. So I want you all to do the same out there. I want you guys to join me again next week. I'm always around on Thursday. My show is always around Thursday. And until then, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I appreciate you. Appreciate you. And it literally is your birthright to stand in your superstar spotlight 
women entrepreneurs out there. Until next time, bye everyone. You can learn more about me, my services and products at joeyg113.com. Make sure to join me every week on the SWE Media Network YouTube channel and wherever you listen to podcasts.